Hi! Welcome to Jonah Chill Channel! Potatoes and cheese, they're my favorites! And them together is a sure bomb! I found a potato cheese balls recipe. But instead of balls, I made rolls. Ooh, rhyming words! <laughs> There's just a bit of a process making this. But I tell you, it's worth all the time and effort. Let's start creating! Cut the potatoes to reduce cooking time. I have a pot of water heating already before I did this. Soak the potatoes in water to avoid browning. Now drop the potatoes in boiling water. While the potatoes are in the pot, slice the cheese into strips, about half of an inch wide. You may use any kind of cheese that you like. Gently press a kitchen napkin in the cheese slices and put it in the chiller. When the potatoes are tender, remove them from the heat. I soak the potatoes in water to cool them faster. Now it's time to peel them. Peeling potatoes could take a while, but I find it quite relaxing and so satisfying when you take a big peel off. I transfer the potatoes to a deeper bowl so I can mash them properly. You may use a food processor or a blender for this but the fork worked fine. Add two pieces of one inch cube softened butter. During this process, add salt and pepper according to your taste. Line your plate with wax or baking paper. Get a piece of mashed potato and flatten it on your palm. Put the cheese on top and cover the whole of it. Roll it on your palm or on your plate to smoothen the surface. Keep doing this until you finish all the potatoes. Pour about 1 to 2 cups of flour in a bowl. Make an egg wash by mixing 1 part egg and 1 part water or fresh milk. Mix together 1 cup of breadcrumbs and half teaspoon of paprika powder. Paprika is part of the family of chili peppers. It gives food a very very mild and subtle chili flavor. When you're coating, always remember FEB, flour, egg, breadcrumbs. Use one hand for the dry ingredients and the other hand for the egg wash or else you have breaded fingers. <laughs> I just did one coating for the first few rolls. And did double coating with egg wash and breadcrumbs with the remaining rolls. We'll see later which one is better for this recipe. Done with the coating, 
Now it's time to fry them. Make sure your oil is hot enough when you drop the rolls. That will make the rolls very crunchy. Achieve that golden brown color. These are the double coated rolls. And these are the single coated ones. You see the cheese have gone out of the rolls already. We want to avoid that. The double coated rolls are firmer and the cheese stayed intact. For this dip, I just mix tomato sauce and mayonnaise. We have no more ketchup. <laughs> the kids and the kids at heart here at home truly enjoy this. It's time to make your own. Enjoy this yummy treat. Thank you for watching. Let's just spread the love in this time of crisis. Please support this channel by hitting the subscribe button and the bell to be notified of my new videos. Click like, share, or comment if you like this video. Remember to pray always and God will see us through. Stay negative from the virus. Until next time, bye for now!